long-suffering parents, honored guests, and most importantly, fellow graduates. I am honored to be able to welcome you all to the very first graduation ceremony of Bishop Tonus Catholic Secondary. This is an historic event. I want you all to picture a tree in your minds. The type of tree is a decision I leave to you. If you can picture that tree now, what do you see? How big is it? What color are the leaves? Where is the tree? The tree you pictured, I hope, is large and vibrant, full of life, because throughout my speech, that tree is the metaphoric representation of your lives past, present, and future. We begin in the past, when we were first introduced to school in junior kindergarten. The seed was planted. Throughout elementary school, the roots grew deep, and we grew up. Do you remember the first time we came into high school? Our memories may not all be the same because we all came from different schools. It was, however, a pivotal time for all of us. One commonly shared memory would be the donut in which more than a few of us got lost and dizzy. This was one of the experiences that brought us closer as a community. We came to Christ the King and we were united under the name of our beloved Bishop, Anthony Thomas, creating the first community of BT. I'm sure you all remember that. It was a donut. <laughs> when I say donut, for those of you that don't know, I'm referring to the very first Bishop Tonus School building. It was round, kind of like a donut, with classrooms that had no doors. It had three levels and only one bathroom for each gender on the bottom floor, which resulted in many runs up and down the stairs. Despite all of its flaws, it was still one of the most memorable aspects of our high school careers. Out of all eight semesters, it definitely ranked in the top ten. Make things happen for yourselves. 
Work as hard as you can. Play as hard as you work. Have fun with life. Grow in every way you can. Don't worry about what you have done in the past or what may happen in the future. Be in the present. Live your life for all it's worth. Remember all the sunny days when God smiled down on you while you tossed a frisbee through a football or just ate outside with your friends on lunch break. Smile, cry, yell, and express yourself in every way. But be fair to everyone else. Never settle. Stay active. Travel. Never put it off. Never delay your chances to live. Live in many different places. Don't ever make room in your schedule for television, as compelling as that sounds. But when you do watch television, know that the things you see should remind you of stories from your life, rather than the things in your life reminding you of stories told on television. Read. Learn new words as often as you can. Speak your mind. Take thousands of photos. Call old friends just to catch up. Expand your reality. Spend your spare time learning about the world, because trust me, it's much larger than your own view will allow you to see. When you make it past your formal educational life, you may find yourself growing farther and farther from your foundation. Always remember where your home is. Always be able to go back home and back to God. You must know which way is up, which way is down, and which way you are going. Love fiercely. Speak respectfully. Live with reality, no matter how surreal it may seem. Accept losing. It only makes you stronger. Spoil yourself on occasion. Spoil others on occasion. Do not allow others to take advantage of you, and do not take advantage of others. Take the time to walk in a forest. Surround yourself with God's work. And when you're in this forest, surrounded by trees, remember all your high school friends, how they were like trees to you. Strong, secure pillars of hope, truth, and trust. Friends may come and go, but the lessons you teach each other are eternal. Don't be afraid to grow old. Growing old is earned. Every wrinkle you find, every gray strand of hair you see, and all the many damn days when your hip hurts represent personal accomplishments that belong to no one but yourself. Don't be afraid to grow old, but always remember your youth and what you and your friends dared to do on any random Friday. Fellow graduates, your power is limitless, your potential equally so. You can build your life whatever way you want to. Take this cathedral room. It is a testament to the beauty and strength of mankind can achieve. The structural engineering that went into this building has stood the test of time. One day, it may fall, but the countless people it touched and the messages dispensed within its walls will live on. This building is a perfect template for all of our future goals. You have grown significantly from when you started high school. This night, you don't only graduate from Bishop Tonus Catholic Secondary, but you also graduate from your youth. It is time for you to make your own decisions and take responsibility for them. Parents, for you, this means you can now charge room and board, but please don't. <laughs> our trees were planted and nurtured by our parents. Our roots grew deep by the educational feeding of our elementary teachers and our families. Our branches now stretch because of our high school mentors and friends. We now have the responsibility to grow our leaves and decide where to let them fall. On behalf of the, great, the first graduating class of Bishop Tonus, I would like to extend a heartfelt thank you to our principal, Mr. Gallo, for always being a reliable leader, Mrs. Cannon, for always telling us to get a new uniform or else. <laughs> Bishop Tones, 
Father Dan, Father Kuzma, Father Ray, and all other local clergy for always having inspirational advice and being idols to us all. Friends, remember that clouds may cover the sun, but God will never leave you. Be honest and live your life with all the passion your heart can muster. If there is one piece of advice from this meandering speech that you do remember, I want it to be this. Have no regrets. Thank you all for an amazing four-year experience. And so it is that this is where we go in alone. God bless you all.